Okay, now that we know the basics, how the system works, let's start with exact data. Exact data can be done many different ways, with many different jigs. I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Router Kit. The very first thing is to see how big is your bit. Okay, this one here is three quarter. Okay, you like it. You can see the three quarter right here. Now, I like to make an exact dado to insert this block inside the wood in a groove. Okay? So, now that I have my three quarter measurement, I'm taking and I'm making a line right here. I don't know if you can see it, my line is right here, okay? So, with my first pass I'm going to remove three quarter. Now, for my second pass, is about 13 sixteenths, okay? I like it again, okay? My second pass. And I transfer the measurement. Let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna take my time because from now on we're gonna have we're gonna take our time and go one step with specific tasks. So this here is my first pass is going to be three quarter. For the second pass, come closer. Okay, I'm gonna use the black over here. And this is gonna be the movement for the second pass. Right here. So, nice and tight. So I have my three quarter from the bit and the 13 sixteenths with a caliper that remain. Okay, so I like this here. Okay, the guide there is tight. Okay, from here, that's fine. Let's do the first pass. I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch deep, tight it, start. Remember, this three quarter here, it goes this section from here to here, right here. Now, without even measuring, I know that I have to complete the route in going that way. Start again. Okay, this is my exact data using the caliper and taking the first measurement of the bit and the second measurement from here. So it's very easy. I hope you like that way. Another way. Let's do exact data now from here to here to fit this piece of aluminum extrusion inside here. Okay, so I'm going from here to here and I'm going to go a little bit deeper so I can fit the aluminum inside. Now, this line that I know it's already registered to this point, this line here, it's this point, that I know. How far I go, I like to just sneak up to the line, take my time. Okay, so let's start again. 
Nu är vi dyper. still see the line here, I don't want to remove the line, I have total control, I can actually remove half of the line. Let's see if this, oh, right here, perfect. And it is perfect because when you mark something, remember, you cannot mark it perfect with this line because the bit of the pen is always outside, okay? So actually, when you make two marks, these two marks are actually larger than the object, okay? So, I'll show you how to sneak up to your line over here for this piece. This is what they call exact data. Very easy to do, always works. Now, there is another way. Let's make another exact data now, using the limit stops, okay? The limit stops, they go on the traveler and uh, as the name explains they limit the traveling of the sliding arm okay so you have one over here and one over here and I think this is a UPS stroke outside huh? no okay now by adjusting these two limit stops, we have total control of for repeatability, you see? I can go in and out. So the total distances, you can adjust it from here and set your exact data any dimension you want it. And we're gonna use the limit stops in another video because I want to explain many more benefits with the limit stops and I don't think this one is going to do it. Um, that video was just how to, two different ways to make exact data with a system. Um, thank you again.